It's being hailed as the funniest zombie spoof ever made. Zombieland is quickly capturing the hearts of zombie lovers everywhere. But is it just riding a hype machine? Well, here's some facts before you check it out. The premise surrounds the zombie apocalypse, with most of mankind being wiped out by zombies, save for very few individuals. Our main character is a Warcraft-loving nerd named Columbus, played by Jesse Eisenberg, that uses his precarious social skills to avoid being devoured by zombies. He's joined by lovable shoot-first, think-later cowboy Tallahassee, played by Woody Harrelson, to accompany him on some random journey. Along the way, they meet up with sisters Wichita and Little Rock, played by Emma Stone and Abigail Breslin, respectively. mature way faster than boys. The plot also falls kind of short. You see, each character has their own personal motivation for living in this world. Our main character, Columbus, is looking for his lost family. Our cowboy friend has a personal vendetta against zombies. And Hottie McGee and her kid sister are looking for an amusement park that is apparently immune from zombies because they heard from some random source that there were no zombies there. Here's my Zombieland challenge for those of you that have seen the movie and disagree with what I'm saying. I want you to get a friend, make them put on the movie some random point, watch maybe about five to 10 seconds of it, have the friend turn it off, and then I want you to tell me at what point in the movie this actually occurs. Was it before they killed that one zombie? Or after they killed that one zombie? Or before they got in the car and drove somewhere? Or after they got in the car and drove somewhere? Because that's pretty much all that happened from the beginning of the movie till the very end. But you have to understand, Zombieland isn't a bad movie by any means. It's just incredibly overhyped. Was it a good movie? No, I wouldn't really say so. It was very meh, pretty much all throughout. There are several good laughs. There's a very redeeming surprise that you will probably cherish. It'll be the one thing you take out of the movie. But it's probably more of a rental. It's available now on DVD and Blu-ray. But I mean, until then, check it out. You might enjoy it more than I did. This is Zuma Thanks for watching. Zombieland.